What's up guys, welcome to your fourth tutorial in CSS. Last time I talked to you guys about organization in CSS and this time I want to talk to you guys about some certain types of selectors. Now the first type of selector I want to go over is called the universal selector. And the symbol for this is simply the asterisk or the symbol above the 8 on your keyboard. And what this does is for any rules you type with a universal selector it applies them to all elements on your website. So for example, say we wanted to change the font to Arial. You simply type font family and set that equal to Arial. And let's make another rule just for fun. Let's set the color to red. So now that we typed in two rules in our declarations, this universal selector will apply to any element in our body. So let's type some text in here and let's make a paragraph have text in here and let's make a heading and have some text in here too. So as you can see we now have a heading, a paragraph, and some basic text in our body. And we have a universal selector that should change it to Arial and Red. So let's save that and take a look at what it looks like if it were on the internet. And as you can see, we now have our text in our paragraph and our text in our heading. And it's all applied thanks to the universal selector. So that's how you use that. And another selector I want to talk to you guys about today is called the descendant selector. And what this does is tell CSS to only apply the elements if it's inside another element. So let's say we wanted to apply the color red to all the heading threes that are inside the div element. So here's what you would do. Type div and add a space and set h3 as your selector. Now what this does is apply the most recent element if it's inside this element. So for example let's type our declaration color and we'll set it equal to red. Now what is what's this going to do is make all the heading threes red but only if they're inside a div element so let's put it to work type heading three and type this shouldn't work and close heading three now let's make a div element with heading three in it so here's our div tag now we have the opening heading three tag and we'll put this should work and we'll close it off and we'll make the closing div tag so now we have one heading 3 that doesn't have div tag around it and another heading 3 that is surrounded by div tags so let's save it and take a look at what it looks like and as you can see CSS only applied the color red to the element that is in the div tag and this is thanks to a process called descendant selectors. So next we're going to go over how we apply descendant selectors and we're also going to cover some more stuff on selectors. But for now we're out of time so if you want to check out this tutorial you can go to my website thenewboston.com and I have a step by step on everything we went over today. Thank you.